noticed that Kenobi was watching him with interest. What is it? He finally asked, unable, to, unable despite his best interest, to identify the device. Your father's lightsaber, Kenobi told him. At one time, they were widely used, still are in certain galactic quarters. Luke examined the controls on the handle, then tentatively touched a brightly colored button up near the mirrored pommel. Instantly, the disc put forth a blue-white beam as thick around as his thumb. It was dense to the point of opacity, a little over a meter in length. It did not fade, but remained as brilliant and intense at its far end as it did next to the disc. Strangely, Luke felt no heat from it, though he was very careful not to touch it. He knew what a lightsaber could do, though he had never seen one before. It could drill a hole, and it could drill a hole right through the rock wall of Kenobi's cave, or through a human being. This was the formal weapon of a Jedi Knight, explained Kenobi. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. More skill than simple sight was required for its use. An elegant weapon. It was a symbol as well. Anyone could use a blaster or a fusion cutter. But to use a lightsaber well was a mark of someone a cut above the ordinary. He was pacing the floor of the cave as he spoke. For over a thousand generations, Luke, the Jedi Knights were the most powerful and most respected force in the galaxy. They served as the guardians and guarantors of peace and justice in 